With two months to go before the election, the Biden administration says it is cracking down on foreign countries trying to influence opinion in the U.S. The target, Russia. The DOJ announcing the seizure of 32 Internet domains used or sponsored by the Russian government, it says, to spread bogus news stories. These websites were designed to appear to American readers as if they were major U.S. news sites. The DOJ also indicting two employees of the Russia-funded media company RT, which was banned in the U.S. following the invasion of Ukraine. Since at least last year, RT has used people living and working inside the U.S. to facilitate contracts with American media figures. The two Russian nationals are accused of running a $10 million scheme to fund and direct a U.S. company producing videos, mostly directed to the publicly stated goals of the Russian government, according to the indictment. The U.S. company, Stephanie mentioned in her report, produced 2,000 YouTube videos that racked up more than 16 million views since launching just in November of last year. According to the indictment, about $8.7 million was paid to the production companies of three online commentators. One of them, who prosecutors say has 2.4 million followers on YouTube, received $400,000 a month plus a $100,000 signing bonus. That commentator had to make just four videos a week for that cash. Joining us now, Democratic member of the Foreign Relations Committee, Senator Chris Murphy of Connecticut. Senator, it's good to have you with us this morning. A lot to talk to you about, but let's start right here. Uh, what is your reaction to what you read in those more than 30 pages of the Justice Department indictment laying out chapter and verse how a state media organization in Russia, therefore the Russian government, funneled money to conservative influencers to spout their propaganda here in the U.S. This is a stunning indictment, and it really shows potentially how deeply integrated Russia is with the MAGA media environment. Uh, this company that um, is described in Tennessee is a pretty well-known MAGA media company. It has on its payroll many of the top pro-Trump uh, voices in this country, and they were knowingly conspiring with Russia, using millions of dollars to put content online uh, and to pay uh, a number of pro-Trump commentators that, um, you know, have been pushing an anti-Harris and pro-Russia narrative for months. So uh, unfortunately, this may be the tip of the iceberg. It is possible that there are many other um, mainstream conservative websites that are in the pocket of the Russian government. And uh, I'm glad that the Justice Department is on top of this. I'm glad that the notice is now out to any other MAGA media companies that may be taking Russian money, that this is not going to be permitted and that you're going to be held accountable if you're doing business with Vladimir Putin.